Hi guys, Grant here. So today I've got for you 13 secret, rare and unique weapon guide for Fallout 4. This is just one video that's been put out on Top Trends, a new channel I'm working on with Futuristic Hub. I definitely recommend you guys go and subscribe as you'll be seeing videos like this. So the first weapon I'm going to be showing you how to obtain is called Le Fusil Terribles and this does plus 25 damage and limb damage to all enemies and you can find this at Libertalia where you just saw on the map. All you want to do is clear out Libertalia, go up the whole structure all the way to the top where you will find the captain's cabin. Once you are in the captain's cabin you will find the weapon on top of this crate I'm aiming at right now. I'm also using the Le Fusil Terribles right now as you can see in the gameplay and it's a pretty cool weapon and definitely one of the best shotguns I've found so far. Secondly we have the railway rifle and the perk on this weapon is that it shoots rail spikes which is a pretty awesome thing if you ask me. So to do this all you want to do is go to Big John Salvage which you just saw on the map. You want to kill all of these super mutants and follow the path you see in the video until you reach the underground bunker you will see in a second. Once you reach this underground bunker all you want to do is enter and in there you will find the railway rifle. Nice. Next up I'm going to be showing you how to obtain the Furious Power Fist which gives more damage on each hit on the same enemy which is pretty cool, I've got it and it's really awesome. So all you want to do is go to Swan's Pond, once you are there you want to lay down a load of mines, or oh, this is my strategy, once you've laid down a load of mines shoot the swan as many times as you can as he is in the middle of the pond and when he attacks you draw him through the minefield you have placed and that should take down a lot of his health. If you haven't killed him by then I would personally get out a missile launcher or a fat man or something and just nuke the bastard and he'll be dead and then you can get the furious power fist off him which you can see here is a pretty crazy looking weapon and it does a hell of a lot of damage. Next up I'm going to be showing you how to get the gamma gun and this shoots radiation which is very effective at killing humans and just doing a lot of damage in general to them. So what you want to do is go to the decayed reactor site on the very left hand side of the map. Then you want to follow the route I take into one of the circular structures. But be careful of the death claw as there should probably be one there. You can just sneak around it, distract it or kill it. And then you will find a dead body with the gamma gun on it which you can pick up and use. Next up we have the Wastelander's Friend which does 50% more limb damage which is a pretty nice perk if you ask me. To get this all you want to do is go to Bunker Hill, go in and talk to Deb and then buy the weapon and it should cost around 1000 caps depending on how leveled up you are on certain things as obviously it varies. And yeah it's pretty simple, I love the scope on this, look how cool it looks, it changes the whole look of the game and I think it looks really awesome, I definitely recommend you guys picking this up if you can afford it. Okay. So the next weapon I'm going to be showing you how to get is called Krem's Tooth and the perks on this are targets bleed and are poisoned. So to get this you want to go to Dunwich Borers which is over on the right hand side of the map. Once you are there you want to kill all the enemies and proceed through the quarry until you come to a hole or well in the ground. All you need to do is drop down into this well and you will find the weapon very nearby as you can see on the gameplay. It's not very hard to get but it is a very very cool looking weapon nonetheless. The next weapon I'm going to show you how to get is called the Gainer and the perk on this is that it sets the target on fire for 15 damage points with every bullet. To get this weapon you want to come to this secondary location where I am on the map and showing you right now. Then you want to follow the route I am taking into this building and you will come to a set of four buttons. The code for these buttons is on the wall just behind you and is as follows 0451 but you have to press the first button 10 times for some reason so it says 10, the second button 4 times, third button 5 times and the fourth just once. This will unlock the door and then you can collect the gainer pistol and also a fusion core as well which is always helpful as you can uh, power up your power armor and just go and wreck everything in the commonwealth. But as you see here it's just on the ground in front of you pretty easy and there's also a box with a couple of weapons in as well so quite a lot of nice stuff from literally no effort there. So next up I'm going to be showing you how to get the alien blaster pistol and this is just a badass weapon in general and it's sort of random in terms of how you get it and to see if you can get it come to the location I am at on the map. 
If the trees are on fire and there's a spaceship crash, you can proceed, and all you need to do is follow the green blood trail to this relatively small cave. Once you're in there, just kill the alien and it literally takes like one bullet, look. Pick up the pistol and there you go, you also get like 450 bullets as well and this weapon is actually awesome in like looks, uh, how powerful it is and just, just in general, it's a sick weapon, I definitely recommend you guys get it. Next I'm going to be showing you how to get the Grognax Axe and the perk on this is hits cause more stagger and bleeding. All you want to do to get this weapon is come to Hubri's Comics and as soon as you enter the building, look to the left and you will see an axe locked in a glass case. All you want to do is simply pick the lock on this as it's a very easy lock to pick, take the axe out and that's pretty much it, a very easy weapon to obtain and it's also very powerful as you will see a legendary enemy spawned right next to me after I picked it up and as he mutated he gained all his health back but it took like a couple of hits and he was down as you will see right now. It's a very powerful weapon and I haven't even upgraded it at all or anything as you can see here, getting destroyed. So the next weapon I'm going to be showing you is called the Prototype UP77 and this has unlimited ammo meaning you never have to reload which is awesome, one of the best perks on any weapon. What you want to do is come to University Point on the map, follow the route you see on screen until you come to a terminal. All you want to do is hack into it and follow the same route on the video until you proceed to get to the next hacking terminal. Once you are in the huge safe you unlock from hacking this terminal, you will need master lock picking to crack one of the smaller safes found inside. Once opened there will be a hidden button inside. What you want to do is press this button and it will open a secret location in the side of the building. All you want to do is go inside and pick up the weapon and there you go. You've got this unlimited ammo weapon and there's also a load of other supplies in here. All you need is master lock picking. So if you don't have that, just know that's what you have to get for doing this. So the next weapon I'm going to be showing you how to get is the Overseer's Guardian and this is one of my favourite weapons as it shoots an additional projectile, basically means it shoots two bullets at once giving double damage. So to get to this weapon you want to go to Vault 81 which you just saw on the map, once you are there you want to follow the route I take on the video and then once you are out of the lift and actually into the vault you want to go to the first shop on the right and speak to Alexis. Once you're there, you want to purchase the Overseer's Guardian for around 1800 caps, give or take. Once you've purchased it, you can go and modify it to your preference at any nearby weapons bench. I personally prefer changing the scope on it as I just didn't like it. I don't like the sniper scope. On this weapon, I prefer like a glow sighted scope, but I definitely recommend you guys pick this weapon up as it is a very powerful weapon and I definitely think you guys will like it. I'm just going to show you uh, right now, I found like a legendary enemy. And I'm just going to show you how powerful it is against him. And I'm actually playing on hard difficulty, just so you guys know. I'm not amazing at the game, but I'm, I'd say I'm just like average, like the normal player. But as you can see, he gets wrecked and his head gets absolutely blown off, which is quite funny. So next up, we have the spray and prey weapon. And the perk on this is the bullets explode on impact, dealing 15 damage per bullet. This weapon is also located at Vault 81, but you can buy it from the vendor Cricket who hangs out outside. If she isn't there, simply sit and wait a couple hours until she spawns in. The weapon will cost you around 1500 caps, so not too expensive at all. Looks pretty nice and it's a fully auto uh, weapon, so it's a pretty nice gun to obtain and it's pretty cheap and pretty easy to get. Uh, here's some gameplay with it, I just wanted to test out what it was like on these bloat flies. Bloody annoying things that just shoot shit at you, I don't know what they shoot at you but some weird stuff. But it's a pretty nice gun if you're not like a super high level and don't have all the best weapons, I definitely recommend you guys go and pick it up. So the final weapon I'm going to be showing you guys how to obtain is called the Justice Shotgun and the perk for this is the chance to stagger enemies on hit. So to get this weapon you want to come to the Covenant on the map and once you are here simply walk inside and find Penny Fitzgerald, she should be on the right in the first building. After you've talked to her you can purchase the Justice Shotgun for around 1500 caps so not too expensive and I definitely recommend you guys get this if you don't have a particularly good shotgun yet as it does do a lot of damage and it definitely kills a lot of enemies very quickly if you have enough ammo for it. So once you have bought this if you decide to you can change all the mods on it if you would like to to suit it to your preference and yeah that is pretty much it. Click the big red button on screen to go and subscribe to Top Trends and make sure you let us know what kind of videos you'd like to see. 
Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video.